Not entirely sure she's humble. Was that keen to join him anyway? Here we go. They're off. This time, she's humble. Does jump off. She's about four or five lengths behind them, but they're off and racing for this Lingfield Racecourse tips.co.uk handicap chase. Touching down in front there, officially modern in the yellow sleeves for Connor Schumacher as they go left handed and head up the hill towards the open ditch with the favourite summer beat in close attendance in the maroon and yellow colours. Took that just in front of on the inside. According to them, sheepskin noseband, the cheek pieces of Goring too. And behind these in the purple jacket is Changoon. Wider out then to seventh, Huzar. And at the back of the field, uh, she's humble. Rusty Nail in the black and green colours there, sitting in about fourth or fifth place as the runners now head down the hill. So pace being set by Connor Schumach on officially modern. Goring two and Andrew Thornton in second place. Summerby in third down the hill. Fourth on the inside is according to them. They're followed then by Changoon and Rusty Nail. Seventh who's our last but one. And She's Humble brings up the rear. On a 40-second start over fences, She's Humble. Got herself in a little bit of a muck sweat beforehand. Uh, coming up towards the first fence in the home straight. Being led there by Officially Modern. Mistake there by Changoon, who just seemed to get the angle completely wrong, but he's okay. Continuing towards the rear of this field as they go over the middle fence. Better jump there by Changoon. So it's officially modern. The top weight who comes towards this next fence with a lead of about five lengths. Goring two racing together there with on the inside, according to them. They're being trapped by Rusty Nail. She's Humble now moves up to dispute fourth place. Jangoon on the inside in the orange cap. Summerby just lost his pitch a little bit here and is now disputing last place with seventh Hussar. Just being like, niggled along there by Noel Feely as well. Yes, that sometimes they hit a bit of a flat spot in these conditions, horses. And at this stage, Summerby, having been right up there, has now dropped to last place but is in touch, well in touch with them. But at this stage, doesn't seem to be enjoying himself all that much, to be honest. They're heading across towards the far side. And officially, Martin leads Goring 2. Looked a real picture in the paddock beforehand. He's in front then in turn of She's Humble, who goes up to competitive third now. With on the inside still, according to them, between horses is Changoon. Rusty Nail at the back there with 7th Hussar and Summerby. See how they jump the first of four fences down the back straight. And the answer is pretty well. She's humble, though, just missed it a touch. Just knocked her back a little bit there. Having been up with the leaders now, it's knocked her back to a dispute of last place. They go over the next fence. And still in front. He's lost his eye in there, didn't he? The leader, officially modern, Connor Schumacher, did well to recover from that. Much better jump there, that one, though. They all jump that one well. And they're going on now towards the open ditch over on the far side. So officially modern from Goring 2. Then on the outside, 7th Hussar now getting into it. Together with according to them, Rusty Nell being pushed along. Changoon is busy away as well. And at the back of the field as they swing left-handed, a gap of five lengths back to Summerby, and then three furthermore to She's Humble, who just doesn't seem to be enjoying it so much these days. They're heading across towards the far side now, being led there by the top weight, officially modern. But Rusty Nell is getting into it as they take that next fence. Getting into it strongly as well is 7th Hussar on the outside. And then behind these Goring two and driven along now according to them. And uh, trying to get back on terms is Shangoon. And uh, they're a long way clear of the others. She's humble has uh, been pulled up. And they're making their way now towards the point at the top of the hill now. Heading up towards the top of the hill then. About to swing uh, left-handed. Rusty Nail has come through on the inside now of the black and white colours of 7th Hussar, Tom Cannon and Jamie Moore. Moving into third place now is Goring 2. The others are really struggling here as they head on down the hill. Now these two have kicked a long way clear of the others. They really have. Summerby is still in there pitching, but he's in a labouring fourth place or fifth place, I should say, at the moment. They're coming down towards the home straight, the two leaders are at least. And it's certainly clear that 7th Hussar appears to be going much the better. 7th Hussar with an advantage now as he comes down to the third last. From 
Rusty Nail. Goring 2 is sticking at it. He's in clear third place now as they go towards the third last, and he's closing down on the leaders as well with two fences to jump. So, seventh Hussar coming up towards the second last in the hands of Jamie Moore. Up towards it, a good leap as well when he needed one. He's five clear of Rusty Nail, who's three in turn in hand then of Goring 2, and then Summerby at the back of the field there, a faller officially modern. The final fence coming up now for 7th Hussar, who's over it in decent style. He's 10 clear of Rusty Nail and Goring 2, and inside the closing stages, this is going to be a bit of a shock result here. 7th Hussar, trained by Alison Batchelor, will win his first race over fences in the hands of Josh Moore, and he's won it ever so well too. Always going nicely, relish the conditions, and he wins by about 10 lengths. Good old Goring 2 gets up for second. Summerby, could you believe it, got third in the end from fourth home, Rusty Nail, and then Changoon.